account segmentation and scoring is foundational to any planning exercise. And if you get that right, then the chances of getting the sales plan and the individual quotas all the way down to the individual contributors is so much greater. So it, it's kind of like just thinking about the beginning of the fiscal year. If you don't get the foundation right, then the house can't be strong. And you guys have created a foundational solution that's really going to help ensure everything that happens from that point forward, from uh, individual accounts, individual quotas, uh, individual capacity plans are going to be correct. It's the sales organization. And the way that you deploy those resources, the way that you invest those resources, all depends upon account segmentation. So you can overinvest in a sales organization. For instance, you can hire some very expensive sales resources to go after, let's say, mid-market or uh, commercial accounts. And you might not necessarily have to spend that level to, to achieve or to, to go after that market. So when you when you segment your accounts correctly, you can make proper determinations about the types and the expense of the resources that you need, and then you can deploy them more efficiently from that point forward. There's a higher expectation on the sales organization, both in terms of customer acquisition costs and customer lifetime value. And in order to do that, you need to understand the expense and the quality of the resources that you're putting out after each of these different segments. So two most important things are the, the data that you use and the ability to change your assumptions quickly. Fair. And as you think about the data that you're using and making sure that it's the right mix of both historical, what your future and current ICP, if those differ, and also, you know, potential macroeconomic factors as well. What are some of the, you know, most common data sources and or business partners that you see contributing to a really sound process. I know you already spoke to finance. I know I've a big plug to my marketing team here at Spalding Ridge. They've armed me with a lot of insight from the tools and capabilities they have to feed into our um, scoring here at Spalding. I'm curious from your perspective where and who you've typically seen contribute to the process. Well, I think some of the most important data that you have is internal to the company itself. So it's it's historical revenue, it's historical bookings, and then pipeline. You know, as long as the pipeline is accurate, you've done a very good job of managing that because that that's your best indication of what's going to happen in the future. And then there's just a myriad of information that's available. I think some of these revenue operations and intelligence tools are pretty interesting. There's ones that are tracking activity, and there's one tracking in engagement. So that helps to qualify the pipeline and the engagements that you're having with existing customers and prospects. And then from that point forward, there's a myriad of third party products that are available. Sure. I don't wanna plug any one of them, uh, but there, there's all kinds of external information that you can get around the contacts that you're speaking with, also the propensity to buy, and then the, the data tech stack that's available in every single company relative to what you're trying to deploy. What's most important is that you have a platform like Anaplan that can collect all this information. I always saw us as being a data signal aggregator. So we go out there and we look at all these different data signals. We compile them. We put together some sort of an algorithm. And then with the one, that algorithm is what you use to do, to do the account scoring and segmentation exercise.